So basically my work involves understanding the impact of diseases to producers and how to provide different interventions. Currently we're involved in uh, the smallholder dairy in Tanzania where we're looking at um, the problem of viscose fever. This is a tick-borne disease regarded as a major constraint to dairy industry in, in East and Central Africa. One person we met, a livestock producer, Mr. Nicholas Kindeke, he has been struggling to raise dairy animals in the northwest part of Tanzania, Kagera region. And he was losing like three quarters of his calves. The moment he upgraded his Roko and Kore cattle, across them with the Frisian cattle, he was losing like three quarters of the calves. And the tick control could not help. He tried all sorts of things until he learned of this technology, um, the infection and treatment method of vaccinating animals against CCF. And although the, um, the nearest distributor of the technology was like 1,800 kilometers away, he paid uh, the veterinarian to come and vaccinate his animals. It was very expensive because he was paying like eight dollars per calf in addition to the transport and all the other costs. But because of the desperation, uh, first of all the treatment for this disease is very expensive. It costs like fifty dollars to treat an animal suffering from ECF. Tick control is is not it does control but is not is not completely effective because essentially what farmers try to do is to keep animals tick free and that's very very difficult. In addition, there are um, several tick species that are developing resistance against the available acaricides. So even though you may spray your animals frequently you are not able to completely um, stop the disease. In fact, Mr. Kendeke told me he, he was spraying weekly, but he was still losing lots of calves. Some farmers have tried to enclose the animals, uh, keep them in stores, and bring in feed to try and reduce the risk of infection. It does work in some systems, but for extensive systems, this is not really feasible. So you're really left with no options um, apart from vaccination. The vaccine is very effective. It reduces Ms. Akendeke's mortality from uh, almost three quarters of the calves to nearly zero. But it has certain challenges. First of all, it's relatively expensive compared to other veterinary vaccines. You need trained people. Uh, specifically trained to deliver the, the technology and and these are not very they are not very well many trained people the distributors like in Tanzania they are they are only like uh, there were two distributors across a huge country so even though farmers wanted to access the technology they could not furthermore being a live vaccine some people have been raising concerns about what's the long-term impact of spreading live uh, parasites across a huge, huge area. The other problem with the, this current technology is each package has 14 doses. So, and once you reconstitute the vaccine, you, you must use the vaccine within four hours, which is a huge challenge when you're dealing with smallholder farmers who have one or two calves so uh, gathering four tech halves is, 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 is very difficult. So Eury has been trying to address all these issues. One, for instance, we've been working on uh, trying to, with GovMed and their center in uh, Lilongwe, the Center for Ticks and Tick-Borne Diseases, to try and produce batches that have much smaller doses. It's technically very difficult, but we're trying to address that through a project that funded by USAID uh, called the Upscaling ITM 
in Tanzania through the value chain, we've been trying to train more vaccinators. We've already um, recruited three more distributors, so there are now a total of five. We've already trained uh, 200 more vaccinators, and we hope to train some more. So this will probably address some issues about access. The issue about the cost and the biological risks, other research in area has been trying to do this for several years. Ideally, the, if we could get a subunit vaccine that is not a, f a live parasite, you know, part of the parasite through molecular uh, manipulations, then you produce only a, a, a section of the, of the parasite, which will be hopefully cheaper to produce, easy to deliver because you don't need the, the, the very strong code chain to deliver the, the technology. What we are not very sure at the moment is how to find out a vaccine that can compare in terms of efficacy to ITM, but that is easier to deliver and to has no, no risks to, to the environment.